Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 14 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the Monat household. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some more Sims 4 gameplay. If you guys remember in the last part, we gave birth to baby Drake. Well, I mean, I didn't, neither did Jose, but you know, Candace did. But yeah, baby Drake was born, which I think he is so flipping cute. Um, don't even get me started. But yeah, here he is. But one thing that does kind of bother me is the unrendered face. But look at those chubby cheeks. <laughs> he really does have little chubby cheeks. I love it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a screenshot of that. Father and son. That's kind of a big deal. Um, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so yeah, it is currently really early in the morning. Candace, you know, literally just gave birth. Um, and she's a little hungry. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to cook up some, I don't know, what should we have for breakfast? Do you know what? Ooh, we can make some apple pie. Mmm. I think we're going to use some apple pie, or make some apple pie, just, you know, because apple pie. It is 45 simoleons, which is pretty freaking expensive, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, all right, so if you guys couldn't tell, pretty much when you have a baby in The Sims 4, unfortunately, they're stuck in this. <laughs> they are actually, yeah, they're stuck in the bassinet, which is really, really disappointing, but there's so many interactions, which, thank you, EA. I mean, I am very disappointed that there's no toddlers and we can't take them out of there, but there's so many interactions. It is awesome. Um, so we have talk, rock, make silly face, cuddle, coo up, bounce, change diaper, bottle feed, um, age up, and show off too. And Candace can actually breastfeed if she wants to. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, she's going to make her apple pie. Look at my little chef. Look at my little chef. <laughs> and Jose, um... Oh, Jose's clearly... Really, you're going to eat that nasty microwave meal when your wife is making... Or not your wife. Whoops. Not yet. Is making apple pie. Oh, my gosh. Look at that dough. Stop. <laughs> Candace, you're killing me. You're killing me. Oh, yeah. This makes me a happy camper. But she actually is going to eat and probably head back to bed because she is in a really, well, she's not in a really bad mood, but she is definitely a little tired because um, she worked a really long shift and then had a baby. So, you know, yeah, I would expect her to be pretty tired. Um, let's see. She's currently a, a level four in the culinary career, so I definitely want to master that. And he is a level one. Oh, how lovely. But he's working up to a promotion. He actually has work in two hours. Okay. Jose, shut up. Jose, shut up. Um, go ahead and grab a serving of that, Candace. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jose, stop. <laughs> I'm going to have him come over here and use the toilet. Oh. Cold in the middle from microwaved food. The outside is hot, but the middle is cold. Well, that's what you get for having microwave food, which I eat microwave food all the time. It's really how you prep it. <laughs> and how, if you know how to cook a microwave meal, girl, no, conventional ovens are the freaking best. Don't even get me started. Do we not have to feed the fish? I don't even know. Okay, but we're going to have Candace actually go back to sleep. She's probably so freaking tired. Jose is going to clean up, put her apple pie away. Go ahead and, um, hmm. Actually, come out here. I don't think the mail has come yet. No. I don't think it has come yet. Because our postcards should be in the mail today. And I think he's actually going off to work. Yep, he is off to work. Oh, well. When he gets home, we'll go ahead and check it out. Um, but yeah, Candace is going to get some sleep for a little while. So I will go ahead and cut back when she's right. like, Drake is actually crying right now. I don't know why. So we're going to come over here and tell him to shut up. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. 
It's so flipping cute. It's going to make me cry. I love babies. Oh, she's actually like shushing him. All right, rock him. Make a silly face. Oh. So cute. Oh, I need to put together the nursery. Wow, I totally Shall forgot. <laughs> um, I'll put it together in one second. I'm just gonna finish off these interactions. So cute. Um, we're gonna go ahead and actually breastfeed him. You can have Candace, you know, Jose doesn't have the choice, but she can either breastfeed or bottle feed. It's totally up to you, but this came with The Sims 3 Medieval, oh. and it is now in The Sims 4, so it's kind of nice for those who want to breastfeed. It's up to you, you know? It's all blurred out, so, you know, you're not really getting too much action there, guys, but you can see feet. If you want to look at feet, there's feet. But yeah, he's all fed now and all of that, so... All right, cool. She's going to head back to bed. I'm about to decorate the nursery. Uh, so I will see you all in like a second. Alrighty, guys. And Candace is now awake. And Jose is also home. And oh, let me show you guys the little nursery that I put together. It is really nothing too special because we are working with a baby. It doesn't really need much. It doesn't have any hobbies. And it pretty much lives in that little bassinet right there. <laughs> So it is a dinosaur theme and it is so cute. I really, really love the dinosaur theme, but yeah, everything's kind of a green orange type of feel in here. I also put like little dinosaurs over here on the wall. Um, they're like, you can't really see that one, but they're like fighting. That's what I think they're doing. Super cute though. Um, but Jose actually, did the mail come? Hopefully it did. Okay, so no, mail did not come. I'm disappointed. Um, but you know, just because Noah moved out does not mean I do not want to continue collecting. So we are going to come out here and dig up everything that we can. Oh my gosh. There he is. Noah. Noah. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and invite him in. Noah, come on in. Yeah, come meet the baby. Jose is probably like, come on in, Noah. Long time no talk. It's been one full part. But yeah, Candace is now off to work, but I guess the boys will get to know each other. They're going to jump, jump, jump about monkeys. No, they're going to joke about monkeys, which is actually my life because monkeys are me. Um, we're going to do an impression. Compliment his outfit. Oh, and the baby's crying. Oh. Okay, um... We're gonna come over here and bounce him and cuddle him and talk to him. Actually, we'll show him off to Noah. Oh, he has a dirty diaper. All right, come over here and change the baby's diaper and show him off to Noah. All right, like, what? what am I doing wrong? Okay, talk to him. him boy. Oh. Look, he looks so terrified. He's like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, oh. oh, he's so cute. He has like the biggest little head ever. Oh, he did not like that. Oh. He's actually really, really cute. Oh my gosh. They're like little little real babies. I don't know. I love it. Stop. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and um, make a silly face at him. He's probably like, ew, stop. It's, <laughs> he, it's making him cry even more. Okay, so hopefully he's good now. We're gonna go ahead and try to show him off to Noah. Are we going to bring him to Noah or does... Okay, who the hell is at the door? Who? Why? Go? Never? Oh! Okay. <laughs> Where's, where, where is Noah? Did he leave? Oh, no. He's over here eating some apple pie. Noah, come here. Come look at the baby because we can't take it out of the bassinet. 
and bring her over to you or bring him over to you so yeah walk all the way over here to the bassinet come on noah what the hell man he's gonna go read a book sorry drake drake why are you crying shush him shush that baby he just cries like a real baby Crazy. We're gonna coo at him. Oh, he's happy now. Okay, and I guess we will bottle feed him as well. So here's the bottle feeding interaction, which... I love how his little feet are unrendered too. It's like an unrendered little baby. It's like it's still in the fetus and not fully developed. How cute. Or it's still in the womb, not the fetus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, how about you go use the toilet, Jose? And I guess Noah left, or he's hiding out, I don't know. But we're gonna come out here, like I was saying, and dig everything up. Oh, I wish there was, like, a, a fight out here. That'd be awesome. Oh, it'd be, like, Bad Girls Club, World Star, I would be all over that. Okay, so we're gonna collect these out here. What do we have over here? dig this up and look for some froggies as well and there's some fireflies out here and yeah you're uncomfortable well guess what go take care of all of this oh and there's noah like running is he about to dig that up no i thought he was going to i was gonna be like noah that's mine now all right let's come up oh he's definitely not feeling it but we're gonna dig that up. We're gonna dig this up right here. It's happening over here. Okay, so Jose dug up a time capsule, so we will open that up. Hopefully, we don't get freaking Violet, because I swear she's everywhere. We got Yuki, which we already have Yuki. And we got a spotted dirt frog, which we already have as well. Um, okay, so we're actually going to head back over to the house and probably go ahead and head to bed. Actually, we're going to have some apple pie. Grab a serving of apple pie and probably head to bed after that. Or we'll actually come over here and probably write our pen pals. Um, maybe order a book i don't know but yeah we will socialize we will check for pen pal replies oh he's not even gonna have his apple pie what the hell dude apple pie is everything legit everything i know jose you're tired all right go check for pen pal replies oh appaloosa plains Ooh. Okay, we will definitely have to do that, but come over here. Before, okay, he's just going to go to bed. I was going to let him eat, but if he wants to go to bed without any dinner, whatever. Don't care. Alrighty, guys, so it is now morning time, and I actually got a notification this morning saying, it's almost baby Drake's birthday, and I'm over here like, we had him in the last part. What? But yeah, I guess his birthday is coming soon, which is kind of sad. Um, but Jose, you have had enough sleep. Go ahead and wake up. And do you have work today? Oh, he has work in 55 minutes, actually. So he needs to go eat really, really quickly. Um, yeah, I have some apple pie. He also needs to take a quick shower. Oh my gosh, Candace, go take care of your kid. Please go take care of him. A dirty diaper. And go ahead and bounce him a little bit. Rock him. Make a silly face. I know you're hungry, but take care of him first. <laughs> Aww, he's so cute. Oh. Okay, we're going to cuddle him. He's like just not feeling it. 
Oh, we have to get a picture of that. So cute, baby Drake. I love him. Drake Bell from Drake and Josh. Love. So cute. Okay. Um. So I guess we will put him down for a little bit. Can, does, can this go in the element block? I don't... I wish it would tell me, like, what I need in here. I could probably check my... Uh, okay, there we go. Put that one down. Okay, oh, and Drake just became good friends with Candace. I, I suppose that is good. Um, can we put Goo Black in there? I don't think so. Goo Black! Oh, I remember playing with that when I was, like, in elementary school, making Goo Black and all of that good stuff. Um, we're actually going to come over here, and, yo, the kitchen is... Ooh! The kitchen is definitely a mess, but we're actually going to cook something. Oh, Drake is very hungry. Oh my gosh, my bad. Drake is very hungry. Without a feeding soon, this baby will be taken away. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, breastfeed him. And also change his dirty diaper. One thing I really do not like is that if I want to interact with Drake when he is a baby, I have to click on the bassinet and not him. I don't really like that. I don't know why. I'm just not really a fan of the whole bassinet idea. I wish I could take my kid out, lay them on the ground if I want to. You feel me? Like in The Sims 3, I used to put my babies out in the snow all the time. Alright, so we're going to bounce him and um, talk to him a little bit. Alright, and then we're going to come over here and do our own thing for a little bit. Uh, we will go ahead and cook. Ooh, there's so much. We will actually make, hmm, let's make some chocolate chip cookies. That sounds really yummy. Oh, and he did not like, oh, she has to pee. Candace, put the food down real quick. Go pee. And then resume making your cookies. She actually has, I think, the next three days off, which is really, really exciting. Um, and we already have all of our skills up. I mean, I wish she could go to work so we can get that promotion, but it's all good. We will work on our mixology skill a little bit. Uh, we've almost mastered the cooking skill, so that's freaking awesome. Uh, probably, probably work on our garden a little bit, get that going, and I don't know, just do a lot of good stuff. <laughs> She's already almost mastered the cooking skill, and I think she's a level what in the gourmet cooking skill? I forget. Let me check. She is a level... only three. Uh, I guess we need to do more of these, definitely. Make more gourmet stuff. Oh, and my bills have... oh my gosh. Bills have just been delivered. You owe 1,031 simoleons. And you have 48 hours to pay. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking expensive. Why? Why? That is absolutely absurd. And that should be like... Uh, not even right. Okay, we're going to go pay the bills and get the mail. We have the simoleons to do it. But holy crap. Why? It is so expensive. Oh my gosh, we have a postcard from France. Let's go ahead and hang it up. I'm sure that um, Jose is like screaming like, yes! So you can hang it up right here and look how cute. I love it. I cannot wait to have Bridgeport up there. Just everything up there. I don't know. Very, very excited for all of that. But we're actually going to come in here and clean up because the house is very dirty. But yeah, simoleons, like bills and simoleons in this game are absolutely absurd. I do like the challenge, but wow. It is a little crazy. The bills especially, you know. I wanted, If I really wanted to decorate Drake's room, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to pay the bills. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and what is she going to go do? go have some cookies or or apple pie you know I, I made cookies but you can you know whatever and go watch uh, some culinary oh do we have a new channel oh watch culinary training videos love that let's go ahead and do that 
So she's like watching some YouTube or some Rachel. What is that show that was that girl Rachel? I don't know. Maybe watching some Oprah? I don't know. How freaking cute! They have the Tapanaki grills. Oh, I love this. Oh, they're using grills in the Tapanaki. Tapanaki grill. I freaking am in love. I love it. She's like watching Hell's Kitchen or something. I'm watching Grandma now. So damn cute. Okay, so... Mmm, from eating scrumptious food. She is very happy. Good for her. I'm happy that she is very happy. Um, let's see. What can you go ahead and do? Well, first, you can go ahead and put away your cookies so they do not get gross. And brew a pot of maybe... Pitch... Ooh. Oolong. Run oolong. Go ahead and make that. Oolong tea is pretty good. Or is it oolong or oolong? Oolong, yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and brew that. We'll come out... Come back inside and get it in a minute, but we're going to evolve our grape trees, which right now they're nice grape trees or grape vines or whatever they are. Grape bushes. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and evolve these and now they are very nice grape vines. Very happy about that. Okay, and we're gonna come out here and ew, everything's looking so gross out here. Oh, she's now a level five of the gardening skill. Lovely. We're going to, I think tomorrow night she is going to actually head out. We were definitely, we've been home a lot lately. Um, you know, not too much clubbing or anything, but you know, we just had our first baby. No need to get out and rush and do all of that, but we're actually going to weed our plants now. After we have our oolong tea. Alright, cool. Um, and let's see. Is there anything out here? Any gems and stuff? There's a fossil. And then over here we have some crystals. So we will head out here. I'll actually have Jose do it. And he is not in a very good mood. He's very, very tense. I'm going to have him go ahead and take it easy at work. What is Candace doing over here? Still drinking her tea. She's almost done though. She feels, oh, a heightened metabolism. And she's very energized. This tea gave you a big boost of energy. Awesome. Cool. I actually have a tea that does that, and I freaking love it. I, I haven't been drinking it lately. I think I need to start drinking it more because I really, really love it. Um... It's supposed to, like, boost your metabolism and make you have more energy. So I think I might start drinking it before I film. I mean, why not, right? All right, so she's going to continue. Oh, celebrate Jose's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. Is it his birthday? I don't think it is. It might be, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Not yet. It might be tomorrow. Hopefully it's tomorrow. But yeah, we're going to... What are you doing? Oh, she's going to come over here and read these. Oh, hold on. Baby Drake is crying. Let's go ahead and change his dirty diaper. Make a silly face. Cuddle him and rock him. <laughs> Alright, and Jose is now home from work. He's feeling fine. Not great, not bad, but just fine. And tomorrow when he goes to work, he should actually get a promotion. Yay, definitely need it. I am going... Oh, he's actually in a really good mood. I don't know why. But he's pretty darn happy. He... Yeah. Go ahead and watch some TV for just a little bit. Let's see. What is she doing over here? She actually needs to watch a little bit of TV as well. So... Go watch the current channel with him. And is today his birthday? I don't think it is. Yep. Apparently it is his birthday. Little did I know. Um, they'll go ahead and, because it is his birthday, I mean, I don't really think throwing a party is very necessary, uh, per se, for his birthday. I mean, I just, I don't think it is. 
Oh, I was gonna buy a birthday cake. Whoops, I'm actually going to cook one. Hello. We're playing The Sims 4. <laughs> oh my gosh, Candace, relax. Okay, we're gonna have her make a special recipe. Ooh. Because she is very energized, she can actually make um, high energy protein plates. So we are going to make a party size of that just to, you know, have it in our inventory so we can eat that up. Seems pretty freaking neat, so why not? And th 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 then we're going to go ahead and make a uh, birthday cake for Jose. Maybe invite over, like, Noah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going to invite over... We will invite over Eliza. We're going to invite over Drake. Yeah, totally. Now we're going to invite over Noah. Bob. And we'll also go ahead and give Katrina a call. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, we'll. Oh my gosh. That looks pretty yummy, actually. But yeah, we're going to. Oh, I don't think we can invite her over. Huh. Weird. All right, but are they all here? Yep, they are. So we're going to go ahead and. Can we invite them in? Come on in, guys. You don't have to be invited in. Just come in. And we are going to go ahead and cook a gourmet meal. We are going to start off by making a black and white cake. Why not? Oh, and the fridge just broke. Of course it did. Jose. All right. Yeah, they're they're going to come inside. Cool. He's feeling very playful. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and cook this cake up. And Eliza is being, like, the best friend ever, or the best stalker ever, and helping us clean up a little bit. Noah, uh, yeah, you can go have yourself some oolong tea. But yeah, we're gonna finish making this cake. Uh, Jose, how about you actually come out here and play cards with Noah, Eliza, and Bob? Why not? Just go out there, do that. I can't believe we don't have to feed the fish. To me, that is so weird. <laughs> Alright, so here is the black and white cake. Um, it's black, it's white, and it's cake! <laughs> cool. We're gonna add some birthday candles. And yay, there we go. So, oh, we can taste the frosting. This action will age up the sim. No, we're not gonna do that. Celebrate. Remove candles, age up sim. Okay, so, ooh, make a wish. Okay, so actually, there's so many interactions. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. But we'll actually play cards after this. We're going to have him make a wish. And Candace and all of them will hopefully come over here and celebrate. I'm not sure how this works, but... Candace, can you? Yeah. <laughs> So she's celebrating. Look at him blowing the candles out. I love it. It's so cute. What am I doing? It's so cute. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right. So Jose just aged up. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Oh my gosh. Makes me feel so old. Like, in The Sims 3, it was like, oh, you're an adult now. Now it's time to have babies. And now it's like, it's time to wrap up your life. <laughs> um, okay, true. But yeah, he aged up. He looks exactly the same. Still very hot. Maybe a little bit different, but not too different. He's hot though, so whatever. Go ahead and take a piece of your cake. Candace, how about you go ahead and actually clean that up? That is so gross. I don't know why people do that. And how about you clean the counter up? And I guess who has the highest mechanical skill? Um, a two and a one. It looks like Candace will be repairing the fridge, unfortunately. 
All right, it's Jose's birthday. He shouldn't have to. Birthday from birthday party. This was not a birthday party, but okay. Birthdays are fun. Heck, any party is a good time, but a celebration with a personal cake. Woo. Um, but yeah, he's gonna come out here, like I was saying, and play some cards with Noah, Eliza, and Bob. I don't know, just, you know, get the party started a little bit, even though this is not a party per se. Well, Candace <laughs> does all of her stuff, and she's actually going to scavenge for some parts. And go ahead and throw that away. I know, you have to pee, you have to pee. Alright, she will go pee like a champion, because she feels very confident. Alright. Jose, why aren't you? Oh, Jose is like, whatever, I'm going to bed night. <laughs> Alright, and it seems like everybody's beginning to leave. And we're going to go ahead and mop that up. We're going to put the cake away. Or not in our inventory. We're going to put the cake away. We're going to put down, or put away the protein meal. And I'm pretty sure I put the, yes, the oolong tea in there. And it's, oh, it's, ugh, it's all gross and spoiled. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and throw it away too. Go ahead and take care of all of that. Clean the toilet. Just get all of uh, the house cleaning done. And before we go to bed, we are going to feed... Noah, or not Noah. Oh, yeah, we're going to feed baby Noah. No, we're going to feed Drake, rock him, and change his diaper just to, I guess, prevent the new diaper. I don't know if that would work, but we can try. Okay. And then we are going to head to bed ourselves. I will see you all in the morning, Alrighty, okay? guys. So it is actually Drake's birthday, which to me is kind of crazy. Um, he's been a baby for one part. So I am going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, in the next part, we are going to have a child, not a toddler, a child. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.